Hey, my name is Ignacio Fernandez and I'm going to guide and help you together with my colleagues with the FEM project development. The aim of these videos is to give you some introduction tips about FEM tools and specifically Diana, that is the one that we decided to use within the FEM project in the Concrete Structures course. After seeing all this series of videos, you should be able to understand the workflow of Diana, the FEM software, and also be able to develop your assigned task. In this specific video, we are going to focus on the Diana working environment, where to find the most relevant tools and how to interact with the software. First, we need to start by opening Diana. You can find it in the Windows Start menu. We click in the Start uh, button, All Programs, Diana 10, Diana. This will be open the Diana working environment. Right now we are in the Diana environment. The environment is made up of the visualization panel where we design and create our model. We will see the different geometries that we create of our model as well as the final mesh. The tools panel with the different commands to interact with Diana. Uh, we can see different rows. The first row where we can create, modify, open projects. The second row of buttons we, uh, which allows us to modify the different views of the model. The third row, or row of uh, buttons is meant to help us with the geometry creation. So by means of the different buttons, we can create the different parts that compose our final geometry. And finally, the last row of, row of buttons is specially designed to interact with our geometry and, this, and assign the different conditions to its geometry before meshing, like supports, loads, interfaces, and so on. On the left of the main window, we can find the main panel. So in this panel, uh, we, can f we have the four different tabs. The first and second tabs are intended to help us with the pre-processing of the model. So we are going to intensively use them during the model development, so during the geometry and mesh development. The third tab, that's called analysis, is intended to help us with the interaction with the calculation engine. So we can tell to the calculation core the characteristics of our, of our analysis. In the last tab, the last uh, the results tab, we can find or we can uh, interact with the uh, results that we got from the from the calculation core. Here we can have a physical um, graphical interpretation of the results in the main panel over our geometry. On the right, we can see the properties panel. This panel will offer us detailed information and personalization of any of the options that we can choose in the main tab panel. So any option that we choose here, uh, whether in the pre-processing or in the analysis phase of our model, will get extra personalization options in this area of the screen. So we will get extra options to personalize even more our geometry or our analysis. Lastly, the two remaining panels at the bottom. The first one, messages, will help us to know if everything that we do is fine with Diana. In other words, if something that we do doesn't like Diana, it will complain in this message box. So you should be aware if you see everything in red, just have a look and see if, uh, if everything is right or not to change the last operations. In the last panel, Command Console, you, uh, this Command Console is intended uh, for advanced interaction with the software. So that is out of the scope of this uh, FEM project, so you don't need to worry about this. Uh, you can even close uh, to develop your uh, task. So until here with the first video, we have seen the different uh, panels in Diana. We have, we have seen the different toolboxes, how to interact with Diana, where to find the main and the most important characteristics, where we are going to develop our model in the main screen, the toolboxes and the different options. So in the next video, what we are going to see is how to develop a practical example. So we are going to develop a, a model that is a continuous concrete reinforced concrete beam. Thank you and see you soon.